everybody, and I'm back with another video. As most of these videos will start off, I'm starting by painting my armor. Uh, I'm painting my armor with Folk Art 655 Aquamarine Metallic Paint. Um, it is probably the best match you'll get for doing Caduceus's armor, uh, but you can always just get the Emerald, which is more, you know, findable, <laughs> and mix that with like a light blue metallic as well, and probably get the same thing, but that's basically it. I'll actually show you in the next video how I did this, this foam armor situation, because I have two other layers of armor that I need to uh, make out of foam and craft board and paint and whatnot. So, yep. So, because I did this so late in the night, I did not have the mind to actually film this, but this is what the mock-up of the tunic looks like. It is simplicity pattern 20973. So if you want to make your Caduceus cosplay of your own, that's probably what is better. It has baseball sleeves, which is good because we don't see like a drop shoulder sleeve in the art. And here I am cutting out the uh, flouncy sleeve. <laughs> the flouncy sleeve overlay. Now I know that this isn't like gigantic like it is in the art, um, but it's basically all I could have done. But um, if you want to make it extra flouncy, like extremely flouncy, um, I would suggest getting two, like, big two-yard, uh, <laughs> what is it, big two-yard sections of lace with, uh, edging, and line up the cuff with the edging, and then slant it in a way that uh, where the shoulder ends, you can just make a straight cut to the edge of the fabric. If you know what I'm talking about, does anyone understand what I'm talking about? But yes, um, this is basically the flouncy sleeve. Um, if you want to go full flounce, though, you'd probably need more fabric than what I've been using. <laughs> And this is what I call the flouncy sleeve in action. Uh, I made it a little long, so it covers most of my hand. But it's kind of, it hits to my knee, so I'd say it looks pretty good. But if you want it full flounce, get more fabric, please. And this is what all my mock-ups look like. I put the sleeve on the wrong side. As you see, it's supposed to be on my left but it is on my right, and this is what all my mock-ups look like. I did the pants off uh, camera, or at least I completely forgot the footage. Um, they worked out all right, except for a couple things. I made the OB part to my waist measurement, while well, I should have made it to my butt measurement, because that happened. There's some gapping in the back. But I'm actually fixing that with an invisible zipper and making the OB a bit more wide. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!